adding pagination in an API is a common requirement. Because what if let's say you have 10,000 villas, you don't want to retrieve all the records in one single hit. Chances are on a page you will only see like 10 villas, so basically you want only certain amount of villas. For our example, let's say we only want 3 villas to be retrieved at one time. We will have to add that kind of pagination in the repository because our repository is not capable of handling that right now. So inside the API, let me open the interface I repository and repository. In the interface, we have the get all async. Here we want to add two more parameters. First one will be page size that basically determines how many records should be retrieved and next will be page number. The default, if we do not provide anything, we will set that to be three as page size and page number, we want the first page. So the first three records. That is the default that we will use if nothing is provided because by default, we do not want to send them all the records. So we can copy that and we can paste that in repository as well, where we have the get async. Right here, let me add a comma. We will paste the page size and page number. Then if the filter is not null, we will check if the page size is greater than zero. If that is, then we want to apply pagination. Here we can also add some parameter like if a user requests a page size of let's say more than 100, in that case we do not want that. Maximum we will set that as 100 and this 100 you can also set that in constant and use that rather than using static value. If the page size is greater than 100 we will default the page size to be 100 in this case. And finally, on our query, we will use skip and take to modify the content that is being retrieved. This is a basic skip take that is used in pagination. Let me run that with an example. If the page size is 5 and the page number is 1, basically it will be 5 multiplied by 1 minus 1, which is 0. And then we have take. So take will be 5. So we are saying that we want to skip zero records and we want to take five. Then next, if the page number is two and the page size is five, in that case, we will say skip. And then we have the math here, page size multiplied by page number minus one. So two minus one, that will be one here. And then we will have take five records. So we want to skip the first five records and we want to take the next five. That makes sense because the page number that we are on is two. So that is how this query will work and it will retrieve the correct records. In order to see that in action, let me go to our API where we have the get villas and I will add page size and page number. Let's say we only want two villas so that will be our page size and we want the first page here. When we call the API here, we will have to pass page size. That will be page size, comma, we have the page number, and we can pass that in both the places. Let me run this and see how that works. We have an error here, let me see that. I believe the repository and files are not matching. Whoops, we added that in get async. This should be inside the get all right here. So let me modify that. We will go to the top here, remove the comma at the end. And I will cut the code, paste it right here. Perfect. Let me run this. The API here, get, we have more properties. You can see it displays the default values as well. Try that out. With the default, it retrieves one and two. That is great. Let me modify the page size to be three. Execute that. We receive three records. If we want page two here, execute. We receive ID four and five because we only have five records. The first three were on page one. So on page two, we have the next two records. 
Perfect. With that, we have seen how to implement pagination in our API. Last thing that I want to show in pagination is when we have the response header, it will be helpful if in the response header we display what pagination was applied that gave the result that we are passing. To do that, we can add that in the response header. Inside the solution, models, let me add a new model for pagination. Right there, I will have two properties, page number and page size. I am keeping things super simple. If we go to Villa API, we are returning back the response right here. Based on the page size and page number, I can create a pagination object here and populate the page number and page size. Then on the response, I can set the header. We will be using JSON serializer and we will serialize pagination object. Add that to the X pagination. With that line, our pagination will be added in the header. Let me run and see that. Let's try to get here with the default. We scroll down and perfect. We can see X pagination, page number and page size. And that looks great. Our API is looking great, but you can work on some modifications like in Villa number API where we have the get. If I try with an invalid ID and you scroll down, we get 404. That is great. But the is success here that is said to be true, that does not sound right. This should be updated to be false. We followed this exclusively when we were doing users controller. There we have all the status code. When it is a bad request, we set the is success to be false. If it was okay, we set that to be true. Same things you have to do inside Villa API and Villa number API. Where we are getting the Villa, you can see we are only updating the status code and returning a bad request or not found. You can also set the is success false right here. That way it is reflected correctly in our API response. But those changes, I'm pretty sure by now you should be able to do that. So I'm not going to spend time there, but you know what exactly you have to do to make sure the success flag is reflected correctly. Another thing what you can do is in API response, you can have a condition based on the status code. If status code are between 200 to 299, where we have OK, created and much more, all of those are successful. If it is anything other than that, then you can set is success to be false. So sky is the limit when you can do customizations with that, but I wanted to give you guys some idea. So good luck with that. Right now in the application, if I change the startup project to multiple project here and run that, you will notice something's different. If we go to villa number, we only see three villa number. And if we go to villa, we only see two villas. If we go back to our API here, and if I try the endpoint here, try it out. Let's say we want the page size of 20 here, run that. You will see we have about five or six villas. So why do we only see two villas in here? Pause the video and try to find out what is the reason. The reason behind that is we have page size that we have predefined. If I go to Villa API controller where we are getting the villa, you can see we have the page size of 2. Let me keep it 0 as default if nothing is provided and that should retrieve all the villas. We also made that change in the repository. We have a default here, page size of 3, make that as 0 and in the repository get all this will be zero and we only apply skip and take if page size is greater than zero so if page size is provided then we will filter else we will retrieve all the records let me run and test that we go to villa number perfect that looks much better 
So with that, our application is looking in great shape.